Hello everyone and welcome back to Aikerman Gaming and we're going to be talking about food again. So advanced tips and tricks on the best food in the game and the best recipes. So in this video I'm going to tell you how to get the ingredients, where to get the ingredients and the things that you can make with these items. So without further ado, let's get on to the first one. So if we go over to the cauldron, but first of all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk to you about some of the ingredients that you're going to need. Now, some of them are in the first video, the beginner's one. It's the first two, which is the mushroom. I'm just going to quickly tell you. Now, the mushrooms, there are two types. There are the yellow mushrooms, which you can get from the dungeons. Normal mushrooms, which you can get from the meadows. You've got the blueberries, which you'll get them from the black forest. You've also got raspberries, but I couldn't fit it on the timeline. So, the raspberries you get from the meadows. You've also got thistle, which will be used to make some of these recipes, and you'll again find that in the Black Forest. Carrots, now carrots, what you'll need is you'll need an item called the cultivator, which is this one just at the top. Now I'll show you what it looks like, and to get that, what you'll need to do is you'll need to use bronze, you need to get some bronze. So you need to farm some copper, or which again if you check out my channel there's a video on that if we go back so carrot seeds again you'll need the cultivator and you'll need to farm carrot seeds now carrot seeds you will find harvesting flowers in the black forest turnip now turnip again you'll need the cultivator again and you'll get turnip seeds which will be located in the swamps and again you'll have to harvest flowers to gain them and then just plant them with the cultivator and then you can eventually get some turnips entrails now they are found by killing the undead in valheim or the dragger i think that's the name anyway the, the actual name um, now they are found at the swamp now what they are is they protect sort of tombs and ruins. So if you go into tombs and ruins, you will find the undead. Kill them and they will drop entrails. The next one is honey. Now honey's really good, even on its own. It's got a, a small little buff as you can see, but the main thing is you can cook with them and you can get some pretty cool stuff. Now I found some in, in some abandoned houses and you can also get them in swamps. Now, what you, well, the best thing is, if you break the hive, you will receive a queen bee. Now, with the queen bee, you can actually make a hive, and then you can start farming honey yourself, which I'd really highly recommend. Now, the last one is really hard to get. Now, it's cooked serpent meat. Now, to get these, you need to kill ocean serpents. Now, to do so, you will need a very handy tool called a harpoon, which is just this item here. Now, Titchin, you will get in the ocean. Now, to get them, you will need to kill sea turtles. So once you kill sea turtles, you can then farm Chits Chitin, which you can then craft a harpoon and also a dagger, which is quite cool. So once you get that, you can then kill the serpents and receive their meat, which you can cook just like so. They are massive and they do take a little bit longer than normal meat to cook. Right, so once you've done that, the things that you can make is the carrot soup. Now the carrot soup, you'll need one mushroom and three carrots. It's really easy to make. Um, it's kind of normal weight, but health you get 20, stamina 60, it lasts for 1500 seconds and it's got two HP of healing. The next one is Queen's Jam. Now Queen's Jam is a little bit better. Again, health 30, stamina 40, and 1200 seconds. And again, healing 2 HP. The next one is Sausages. Now Sausages, to craft them, you'll need the entrails, some normal raw meat, and the thistle. Now the sausages are really good. They don't weigh a lot at all. And you'll get a 60 health bonus and 40 stamina and it lasts for 1600 seconds and the great thing is you get an extra HP so 3 HP the next one is the turnip stew 
Now the reason I like the turnip stew is because it's sort of balanced. You get 50 health, 50 stamina, and again it lasts for 1600 seconds. So it's quite a good one because it kind of gives you a buff on your health and stamina at the same time. Now the best food that I have found in the game is the serpent stew. Again, it's the hardest to get, which is just here. Now to get it, you need the mushroom, you need the cooked serpent meat, which is just cooked there, and two honey. I better grab it a minute because they're quite hard to get before they burn. And that gives you a health bonus of 80. Now that's massive. And a stamina, again, of 80. And the duration of 2,400. Now if you compare it to the next best, which is turnip stew, which is only 1,600. I mean, that's massive. And again, healing, you get 4 HP, so it gives you the biggest healing, health and stamina, and it lasts the longest. So I hope this little guide helps you all on where to get some of the ingredients. You might have to, if you're sort of beginner game, just go out and sort of farm some of these items. It might take quite, quite a while, but if I equip these items, so the top three, I mean, look at that health bonus, and look at the stamina growth. I mean, it's incredible. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like the video if you found it of a benefit. And please subscribe for more. Thank you very much for tuning in. Bye-bye.